Hi, I'm James, and today we are taking a look at this, which is an Acer Aspire 3 A315 54K laptop. And we are going to be doing a SSD upgrade on this machine. So what we're going to do is start going around the screws on the back of the machine. Just removing these. All should be the same size and all should just be these visible screws on the back. Uh, unlike some Acer 3 models, there isn't a easy access hatch for this. So we're gonna to have to go in this way. This particular machine, I have already cloned the drive using true image to another SSD, uh, taking out the one terabyte hard drive, which this originally shipped with. As somewhat expectedly, the customer was complaining of poor performance, um, as you might expect from a relatively new machine with Windows 10, but running a mechanical hard drive. So with this done, we can now take our pry tool. And what we're going to do is just press in here where the base meets the chassis. Basically where on here it's the black meets the red. And begin releasing. So pressing mostly downwards on this one seems to work best. And then running in along the front. Turning our attention to the front and pushing in flat at the front but downwards on the side. And then over to the other side. Again, pressing down on the side to release the clips. Looks like we damaged one of the clips at the front, but if it's just a single one, that should not be end of the world. And once we're inside, so we can see here, we do have a M2 slot, so we can add um, a M2 2280 SSD there. However, we are just going to be fitting a SATA SSD into this three and a half inch bay here. If we wanted to upgrade memory, there is also a single DIMM module here. The rest of the memory appears to be soldered to the main board. Now next, to release the hard drive, we have four, well, yeah, four screws holding that in. Before removing the drive itself, I'm just going to, what I should have done first, disconnect the battery. And then we can lift the drive and grip the SATA connector there to unplug it. We then simply have to remove the hard drive from its caddy. four screws on the edges of the drive. Remove the drive and insert the SSD, making sure it is the same way round.
and fit the replacement. As I say, I claim this using true image. I like true image uh, for just going to a smaller SSD. You could, of course, um, you know, clean install windows onto the new drive, but for this customer, they wanted to retain their applications and data. So with that in place, we can then put this on the right way up, plug the drive back into the SATA connector, reposition it, refit the four screws, And then all that's left to do is reconnect our battery. Don't forget to do that. Otherwise you'll be taking the back off again as I almost had to do there. So a little awkward, but just push in the battery connector. We're then going to take our base, start at the back, just push it down clip it on and then work our way around the chassis clipping that into place and all that's left to do is refit the screws onto the back. So overall fairly simple process um, if you have any questions or comments do just leave them in the comments below Hit like if you found this video useful and more and if you would like to see more of these videos hit the subscribe button to help support our channel in the future. Thanks for watching.